Okay, we're going to do another tutorial here. So once I'm in Photoshop, I'm going to look for the tutorials. If I don't see it, if we don't, if you do not see the tutorials here, you're on Creative Cloud Photoshop. I'm here on 2022 currently right now. So if you don't see it, click out and quit Photoshop. Actually quit. So that looks like this, where I quit it. And then reopen up Photoshop and see if that takes care of your problem. Make sure you're updated too. Um, sometimes that could be the issue. So I'm just going to browse tutorial. And I'm going to go to, it says all categories, all skill levels. And I'm going to go into orientation. And I'm going to add an image. How do I add an image to another image? So let's click on this one. It says add an image. This is I'm going to click on this blue start tutorial and here we go. This is what we see. I'm going to move this over here so I can kind of have this there. So everything is free. Okay. So in the next step, you'll choose a photo from the computer to appear on this phone screen. A vertical image will fit best. For this example, use a JPEG or a PST file. Click next to continue. So we're going to put a photo right in here. As you can see right here, this layer is selected. And this has been erased. Whatever was here on this phone was erased. Okay, it's transparent so we can put something in there. So I'm going to click Next. And right here it says File, Choose File. So I'm going to click on File. And then it says Place Embedded is the next thing I'm going to go to place embedded and from here i'm going to find an image okay that will work for this and i have one that might work well it is this one we soar with pride i'm gonna i think this one no i think i don't well this one let's go with this one so I'm going to click that. You know, find an image to put in there. Now, let's put this over here to see what this is saying. It says, find your photo, select it, and click place. When it appears, drag on any of the small white squares to resize it so it roughly covers the phone. Press enter on the keyboard to place the image. Click continue. So I'm going to click one. Now, in order to see, I'm going to move these little squares like they said. Okay. I'm moving it. But how? what size should I have? I'm going to, I kind of want this to fit. We'll see if it fits exactly. And I might have to do more. So it says, press enter on the keyboard. So we want to roughly cover the phone. And then I'm going to click enter or return. and click next to continue okay i'm going to click next it says that the image that you place is now a new layer above the previously active phone layer click next to continue now in many cases this may be all you need to do to add a photo to a collage or design let's have some fun and explore how to make your photo appear inside the phone screen click next to continue so it's on top of there but it's not in the phone it's not like in there what do we need to do let's see let's click next how do we put it inside the phone click next now it says drag your photo layer under the phone layer click next to continue so this one i i, I selected soar with pride it says to move it underneath the phone layer. So here I have this layer selected and I'm going to move it underneath the phone. Boom, there it goes. So I did that and it says now click next to continue. It says the phone you added is now visible within the transparent areas of the phone screen. Click next to continue. To fine tune the size and position of the added photo on the phone screen, choose edit transform scale so edit 
transform scale. Now that we have that, we drag inside the transform bounding box to move the image. Drag on any of the square handles to resize the image. When you are done, press enter on the keyboard to apply the transformation. Click next to continue. So right here, it's actually pretty close. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I want that rim to be under there. And I want to make sure that the ear kind of fits. So I'm just basically making the whole thing smaller. But it should fit pretty good. And I can move it over just a little bit. Yeah, so right there. Want to make sure it still covers the phone, right? Because if I go too far, it's going to have that problem. So we don't want that. There we go. Now it says, well, it says, press enter on the keyboard to apply the transformation. So I'm going to enter or it could be returned depending on the keyboard you have. So then I'm going to click next to continue. So there we go. So if I click, I'm on the move tool. So if I click outside of it, that's what it looks like. Now, if you are, if you are my student and you're turning this on uh, to Canvas, what you want to do is you want to resize it. We don't have a lot of space on our platform where we turn our assignments in. So if you're turning this in for one of my assignments, you want to click on image, image size, and go to the biggest uh, size. This is a square. So the height and the width is going to be the same. So either one, I'm going to change that to 1000. Go OK. And I can double click this hand and it will bring it to this. It will fit on the screen when I do that. And now 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels is plenty big for me to grade it your assignment. We're going to go to save a copy. This is only if you're turning it in for me. Uh, you might want to save it as a Photoshop file for yourself, but for my students, you want to save on your computer. And I put it in my downloads. I always end up titling it whatever it's called. So in this case, it's add an image. And I'm going to I make sure I don't change that little period and the ones at the end. I don't want to change that. And then I'm going to click on format right here and change it to a JPEG. And then I will simply save it in my downloads. Make sure you know where it's going and the name of it. Save. Six is good quality as far as for the web, just for like, you know, a low resolution, uh, or rather, you know, good enough quality. Medium quality is fine. If you're printing it out, you know, you want a bigger size and you'd want uh, all the way up to the end probably. But six is plenty fine for you to see on the web. And then the file size will not be as big. Okay. And there you go. That is how you can add an image with place embedded.